In the ever-evolving landscape of science and technology, researchers are constantly pushing the boundaries of what is possible, blurring the lines between the living and the artificial. One such groundbreaking creation is the Xenobot, a tiny, self-assembling biological machine that has the potential to revolutionize medicine, robotics, and our understanding of life itself. In this video, we'll delve into the fascinating world of Xenobots, exploring their origins, their unique capabilities, and the potential implications of this technology for the future of science and medicine. We'll examine how these living robots are created using stem cells from the African clawed frog, and how they are programmed to perform specific tasks such as moving, healing, and even self-replicating. We'll also consider the ethical and philosophical questions raised by the creation of Xenobots. What does it mean to create a living machine? What are the potential risks and benefits of this technology? And how might it impact our understanding of the boundaries between the natural and the artificial? And who knows? Perhaps by understanding the potential of Xenobots, we can contribute to the development of new medical treatments, environmental solutions, and even a deeper understanding of the very essence of life itself. Xenobots, named after the African clawed frog from which their cells are derived, represent a groundbreaking intersection of biology and robotics. These synthetic life forms are designed by computers and assembled from different biological tissues to perform specific functions. Their unique nature blurs the lines between living organisms and machines, sparking debate among scientists about their classification. Are they robots, organisms, or something entirely new? The first Xenobots were truly a marvel of bioengineering, brought to life by Douglas Blackiston. Following blueprints meticulously designed by an AI program developed by Sam Kriegman, these tiny, groundbreaking creations are less than a millimeter wide, composed of two simple yet remarkable components, skin cells and heart muscle cells, both derived from stem cells harvested from frog embryos. The skin cells provide a sturdy structure, while the heart cells, acting as miniature motors, contract and expand, propelling the Xenobot forward. The shape of each Xenobot and the arrangement of its cells are determined through a computer simulation that uses a trial and error process called an evolutionary algorithm. This allows scientists to design Xenobots with specific tasks in mind. The versatility of these living robots is astounding. They've been designed to walk, swim, push pellets, carry payloads, and even work together in swarms to collect debris and organize it into neat piles. Remarkably, they can survive for weeks without any external food source and even heal themselves after being damaged. Beyond their basic design, scientists have incorporated other types of motors and sensors into Xenobots. Instead of heart muscle, some Xenobots utilize cilia, tiny hair-like structures, to propel themselves through their environment. While this method offers a different mode of locomotion, it's currently less controllable than the heart cell driven movement. Furthermore, researchers have endowed Xenobots with molecular memory by introducing RNA molecules. When exposed to specific light during their activities, these Xenobots will glow a pre-programmed color under a fluorescence microscope allowing scientists to track their behavior and gather data about their experiences. Perhaps most astonishingly, Xenobots have also demonstrated the ability to self-replicate. They can gather loose cells from their surroundings and assemble them into new Xenobots, creating offspring with the same capabilities as their parents. This self-replication process, driven by the Xenobot's movement and interaction with their environment, is a remarkable feat of biological engineering. While still in their early stages of development, Xenobots hold immense potential for a wide range of applications, particularly in the fields of medicine and environmental remediation. One of the most promising areas lies in their use of biodegradable and environmentally friendly robots. Xenobots are composed entirely of frog cells, making them inherently biodegradable and harmless to the environment. Unlike traditional robots made of metal or plastic, Xenobots don't generate pollution and don't require external power sources to operate. They utilize the energy stored within their own cells, allowing them to function autonomously for up to a week before naturally degrading into harmless skin cells. This biodegradability, coupled with their ability to work collectively in swarms, has led researchers to speculate about their potential for environmental cleanup. For instance, Xenobots could be deployed in oceans to collect and aggregate microplastics, which are tiny plastic particles that pose a significant threat to marine ecosystems. By gathering these microplastics into larger clumps, Xenobots can make them easier to collect and remove from the ocean, potentially mitigating the harmful effects of plastic pollution. In the medical field, Xenobots offer exciting possibilities for targeted drug delivery and disease treatment. 
By engineering xenobots from a patient's own cells, scientists can create biocompatible robots that can navigate the body without triggering an immune response. This could revolutionize drug delivery, allowing for more precise and targeted treatment of diseases like cancer or infections. Future xenobots, equipped with additional cell types and functionalities, could even be programmed to perform tasks like scraping plaque from arteries or identifying and destroying harmful cells. This could lead to new, minimally invasive treatments for various conditions, reducing the need for surgery and improving patient outcomes. We've journeyed into the cutting edge world of xenobots, where the boundaries between biology and technology blur, and the possibilities seem limitless. We've explored their origins, their unique capabilities, and their potential to revolutionize various fields from medicine to environmental remediation. The creation of xenobots has sparked a fascinating debate about the very definition of life and the ethical implications of creating artificial organisms. These tiny, self-assembling biological machines challenge our traditional understanding of what it means to be alive and raise important questions about the future of bioengineering and robotics. If this exploration has ignited your curiosity, I encourage you to delve deeper into the world of xenobots and the rapidly evolving field of synthetic biology. Explore the latest research, consider the ethical dimensions of this technology, and imagine the potential applications that could transform our world. And who knows? Perhaps by understanding the potential of xenobots, you'll be inspired to contribute to this exciting field, pushing the boundaries of science and technology and helping to shape a future where living machines play a vital role in solving some of humanity's most pressing challenges. Thank you everyone for watching. My name's The Big Why. Don't forget to drop a like, and if you're new to the Why Not family, a follow. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.